a dangerous creature in the wilds. This dangerous predator. Tiny in this giant enclosure. <clears throat> <laughs> One itty bitty lizard in a ginormous enclosure compared to my hand. <clears throat> I thought I've lost this dude or thought he's gotten out a few times because I couldn't find him. He's usually way up there, but, or like way up there, or like, his favorite spot is now like right there, but, <clears throat> nope, now he's chilling on his little boot-shaped um, cork bark, which I actually got from a pet shop called Andy's Pet Shop. It's they have really great price, prices. Uh, what did we get this for? I forget. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks, and it's hollow all the way on the inside. It's got a small little hole in the front that he can go into, and in the back side. Oh, that thing? Yeah, this. I thought you were talking about the tank. No, no, the the, oh, the, the cork, cork bar. That was like eighteen bucks. Eighteen bucks. Like, that's a lot for a quite a big piece of <clears throat> cork bark and it's hollow all the way through and it looks like a mini like tree stump. Don't it's mean so not cool. That much, like for that piece. Or yeah, that's not that much up for. <laughs> I know I am. Yeah. The cage itself was twenty five. Twenty five. And it's how big? 29 gallon 29 gallon bow face so this is rounded all the way around and then there's a custom top piece that somebody cruel kind of tried to cut out roughly and we just um, hot glued non-toxic glue onto the top with some um, some screen mesh. screen mesh <clears throat> And popped a light up there. It's far enough away from everything, so he can't burn himself or anything. And yeah, compared to the one that he was in, holy moly. And yeah, it's all rounded. Like, all of this is rounded. And then it goes square on the back end. And it's pretty freaking cool. The top is even rounded too, like, all this. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan is again a three legged <clears throat> a Bohemian knoll. Not a green knoll, a Bohemian. And yeah, he doesn't get much brighter than this. He is mostly dark browns and grays. He knows we're watching him, so. Yeah. But he's completely in here by himself this is all his unless we want to get him a friend and that would have to do some introductions beforehand so I don't know he might we might do some test runs with another Bohemian and Ola and see if they work out heck I've seen them be grouped together but he was in a group, and we think that's how he lost his leg. He lost his leg to a bigger male or something. So we'd have to get one about his size or a little smaller. Hey, got I might be able to catch him on video eating. Okay. Guess not. He had other plans. <clears throat> yeah, that's new, um, Lieutenant Dan's newest update he got a new enclosure that is like four to five times the size it was so wanted to make sure you guys had a a detailed description of it um not sure what was in it before did you know what was in it before when they got the tank no 
but I'm assuming it would have been a snake or something. But yeah, Lieutenant Dan's got some brand new digs. And so did our crested geckos. Give me one second, I'll let you guys check that out. And the crested gecko takes brand new. This was this is called a what? A paludarium? Wow. Yeah. Paludarium from Zoom Eggs. So a fish tank and give me a fish tank with your that goes tray and then you do substrate and then build your aquarium up. Or your terrarium up. Terrarium. <laughs> So when there is when it is a take below a take below option and a terrarium above, so aquarium and, ter and terrarium, it becomes a paludarium. <laughs> but yeah, he's got one. Hers is a little small. I don't think hers would be considered a paludarium. No. Hers is more like a just a um, terrarium. He is is. His was originally hundred bucks. Yeah, his was supposed to be a hundred dollars, and we got it for a steal. Yeah, we got it. I think we already owned this. Yeah, hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Everywhere else, they're usually a little bit more. Yeah, a lot more. They're like a hundred and fifty almost. Fifty to one hundred and twenty-five Yeah, and I can't remember dimensions. I'm horrible with dimensions, but his is an eighteen by eighteen by thirty-six. So it's eighteen. By 18, by 36. <laughs> I can't today. And hers is like, I want to say she's a 12 by 12 by 24. Um, hun, you're completely wrong. No? She's an, eight, she's an 18 by 18. Is she an 18 by 18? 24. 18, 18 by 36 or 12 by 12 what? by 24. Yeah, this, size. This, this, this is literally the same size as this this guy here. Yeah. So 18 by 18 by 24, and his is a 36, but he because he's got eight and like yeah, eight inches got of clearance. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, today is not that kind of day. <laughs> but yeah he just got updated and she got updated to verticals and if I can see if I can see him oh boy it's impossible to find a crested gecko in one of these I swear uh, there's no cheeks I don't see nothing he was like literally right here a couple of minutes ago when I went to go and feed Lieutenant Dan. And he's vanished into it somewhere. <laughs> and it's not like we're going to do more vines up here and stuff and have more sticks and foliage. But we took what was in his old tank at the time and put it in here. And that's what his looks like. It, it's a front, fit, front opening and a top opening with uh, two clasps like um, just exactly like Miss um, Magenta's opens up two clips and it clips right back down locks in place <clears throat> his is like that and then you can also put a lock on it and then hers if you're gonna pick on her she's sleeping no, she stopped. No? No, she moved. Mm -hmm. Hers has a full, like, hide. This is a hide rock log. Oh. It simulates a log. And you can go all the way inside of it. And all the way outside of it. I wanted to fix this piece anyways right here. Yeah. We're going to need to adjust something. And she wanted to go and take off somewhere. She's fine. She's right there <laughs> in the back. I just wanted to make a little bit more coverage for her up top. Yeah. 
she's like, run away. She's a lot more shyer than Floppy Feet. Floppy Feet, we could take out of here, pretty much. He's gotten better with that. Versus her, she's a lot more shyer, but she's just a baby, so I ain't gonna hold it against her. And I think it's a lot more better, yeah. Gives her more shadows to hide in. Oh, <laughs> she, oh, she went in her hide or something. But, yeah. And hers is a front opening double uh, door with a screen top that's got four clasps. Or four switches. Yeah. And it's got dual vent. Uh, but... Her bottom is not as thick as his is. Um, and she's got a gravel drainage layer, substrate, and his is just straight substrate. Don't mind the pew on the glass. Mr. <laughs> Floppy Feet is disgusting about it. Oh. Yeah, we got updated cages for you guys. And just these two. And Lieutenant Stands were the best ones. What? Tell them what type you got rid of. We got rid of what sizes? 55 yellow long, 29 yellow tank, uh, 30 yellow long, 30 yellow tank, 30 yellow long. Yeah, we got rid of quite a few because we had picked up a, what the big one was. What size? 55 yellow long. 55 gallon long mm -hmm. and we sold that and <laughs> well we didn't even really sell it we we traded in all four tanks and everything else got store credit and stuff like that yeah and we also we put that credit towards, towards these the tanks, yeah. yes because we decided to donate the tanks off basically so, we, and we picked them up for whatever size they are about, the big one, $22. It was originally priced at 32 We got it at Goodwill. It was $22. But it was 22 because of the $10 off. Yeah. And yeah, and we went off and gave that to... Andy's and then we got store credit for it and just got these tanks so no money was really spent on these and he just gave it towards the credit because we donated the tank basically <clears throat> but he's got we got these two and then we had Lieutenant Dan's added onto it don't worry we got like three more tanks to get yeah we still have to update a couple more tanks get um we might move some of the spiders into new tanks as well. But I know we have to update this tortoise when she gets a little bit bigger. But she's she's got a lot of room. She doesn't move much. She stays right there, basically. She'll dig this up. She's try trying to go through like a brumation situation. Yes, I know that rhymed. <laughs> and... She just sleeps all day, wakes up every once in a while to eat, and sleeps again. She doesn't really move around. She was much more active when we got her in the summertime, but now that fall's creeping up, we're in October, she's starting to go to sleep a lot more often or sleep a lot more. Cold weather's changing her, guys. And if you guys have tortoises or turtles, you know about brumation. Sometimes they're in for months, sometimes weeks. And you just got to wait for them to wake up. It's, <laughs> it's sad. You don't really get to see her much. I don't really, we don't really mess with her too much either. Oh, she's going through her formation. If this is what this is. Only when she's up. And we'll just feed her and then make sure she has water. And just let her do her thing. Yeah, we'll pick her up on occasions, but it's not encourage that you pick up your tortoises during brumation no but we check her and make sure she's doing good 
overall health check once a week or at once every two weeks to make sure nothing's blocked or something stuck because she's on wood chips so I don't want like if she's laying there she gets a splinter or something some uh, a wood chip gets wedged under a crevice in her shell you know and she really doesn't mind the wood chips she'll stack this whole thing up we'll stack this up in a whole pile and then she'll push it all the way down and burrow up in this back corner here but for re some reason she's really liking this side a lot more I think it's because of the brumation that she's just gravitating towards the colder side because that's what she's supposed to be she's supposed to be cold and sleeping so I think that's what's going on I don't know I'm gonna have to search up a little bit and if because I never knew about brumation until a few years ago that it would you know it would happen to her but apparently it does and she's just now moving around a bit so yeah you guys she might be going through brumation so we might not see her in a while but yeah We'll see her when she wakes up.